So right now I'm just gonna be reacting to this guy called Mapalo. He's on YouTube and Instagram. He's actually pretty big. Um, so in this video, he just goes into the food court of this mall and just starts yelling from the table. I mean, people seem to love this video and they love content like this. So I'm gonna play the video for you guys and then I'm gonna give you my opinion of it. Excuse me, excuse me. Can I get everybody's attention really quick? I just wanna let you guys know that Jesus Christ is coming back soon. He's coming. Will he say, depart from me? Or will he say, well done my good and faithful servant? I'm here to tell you that he loves you. He cares about you, but he requires obedience, he requires holiness, and we are not righteous ourselves. We cannot go to heaven on our good works. The only thing that covers us is the blood of Jesus Christ. If you repent, many are called, but few are chosen. We're calling everyone here to repentance. This state, this city, this world, Jesus is coming back. He's coming back. He loves you. Are you living for him? Because he died for you. You cannot be halfway in, halfway out. You're either with the world or you're with God. When he comes back, he's not coming back as a hippie. He's coming back as a king. The first time he came, he came to slay the sin in men. The second time, he's coming to slay men in sin. He cares about you. He loves you. And he's calling everyone here to repentance. Everyone here is now without excuse. Alright, let's go. Calm down, sir. He loves you. Most people are Christian, that's fine. Are you you're comfortable with Jesus? No, it's Christian. It's not pretty close to your house. It's the table. Well, what if their house is burning? What if their house is burning, sir? I'll be, I don't go into your house and start to sink. Well, what if their house is on fire? Who's going to warn them? Who's going to warn them on the first floor? So how many people were saved from this interaction? Zero, because the gospel was never preached one single time. What this guy did was just stand on top of a table and yell at people that they need to be holy and obedient and repent of their sins. Now, are those bad things to do? Absolutely not. But that, none of that stuff gets you salvation. That doesn't get you into heaven. That's stuff that we do after salvation, right? Because if you had to do all that, that'd be a lot of work. That's a hardcore works-based salvation. But it's kind of funny that he says it's not works, but then tells you you have to do all that. No. So not one single time did he tell anybody how to get saved and go to heaven. Um, but the Bible tells us what we must do to be saved. In Acts chapter 16, verse 30 and 31, the Philippian jailer says to Paul and Silas, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. So you're going to put, a, if you put 100% of your faith in Jesus Christ, knowing that his finished work is sufficient and that's what's getting you into heaven, you're saved, right? Now, uh, and he, he totally has repentance wrong. He thinks the word repent means to turn from sin, but it doesn't. It's actually just a change of mind because if it meant to turn from sin, that would mean that God sinned. But God did not sin because he's perfect. You know who repented more than anybody in the King James Bible? God. He repented 36 times in the King James Bible. But obviously all the modern Bible versions remove that. Um, so anyways... <clears throat> The type of repentance it's talking about for salvation is this. In Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1, it tells us this. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and faith toward God. So what do people trust in? People who are unsaved, they're trusting in themselves. They're trusting in their good deeds, them repenting of their sins, and things like that to go to heaven. They're not trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ. So they need to repent of that and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. So you're repenting of the unbelief to belief. You didn't believe before. Now you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. And there it is. And let me give you a couple verses because the book of John is actually written so that people believe. So John 6, 47 says this, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. So it's telling you right there that you have it. Um, you know, John 3.36 says this, 
he that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. So it's telling you right there, there's two types of people in this world, those who believe and those who don't. There's no in-between, you know, if you have a certain level of obedience, you're not uh, gonna go to heaven versus somebody else who's less obedient to you. Um, you know, if you have a lot of good works and you just trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, are you're gonna get rewarded in heaven for that. You're gonna get rewards but you're not going to heaven because of that and if you think you do you're going to hell because you're trusting in something else other than jesus christ to get uh to get to heaven and another thing i kind of noticed is as these guys are getting kicked out you know they're acting like they're being persecuted and the cops are of the devil and all this stuff it's like no you're just screaming and yelling on a tabletop telling people that they need to do all this stuff they're not even preaching the gospel and it's just more, it seems to be more so about attention because I mean, look, let, let's be real here. People don't want to watch the real gospel message. It's, it's, it's not entertaining enough for them. They want to see some crazy stuff. They want to see stuff like this. They want to see, you know, people getting fake demons casted out of them and all that garbage. You know, let me tell you something right now that no saved believer can ever have a demon. You can't have the Holy Spirit in a demon. You can't. And when you ask for scripture, they can never show you any evidence of it because it's a lie. Um, but let me say this. I truly hope this guy gets saved. I hope he repents of this false gospel because I already can tell who he's listening to because I used to listen to these same people. He used to listen to Ray Comfort, who's a false prophet. He used to listen to Cleveland Street Preachers, Isaiah Saldivar. And uh, David Lynn, I know that because because he, he put them in the, those two people, David Lynn and uh, uh, Isaiah Salivar, because he put them in the hashtags of the video. I, I could tell just by listening to the to the stuff that that's who he's watching. Those are all false prophets. All those people believe you can lose your salvation. They believe in a hardcore work salvation. So you know, please, if you're watching this, you know what? I hope you know maybe we can have a, a, a real conversation. And, uh, you know, you can actually get saved because, you know, this is a hardcore work salvation and it's damning people to hell, man.